The little girl woke up and found that the puppy she adopted yesterday had become a big dog three meters tall. Just when she thinks it's all a dream, Clifford's big sneeze makes her wake up. Clifford looks at Emily and wags his tail. When Emily asks him to sit down, he makes a mess. Emily had no choice but to wake up her uncle, but uncle was also scared, almost jumped out of the window to escape. Clifford sees that his uncle is hostile to him and he is not welcome. He goes straight up and doubts his uncle's life. Uncle sees Clifford, who is about to cheer down the house, and insists on sending him away. But Emily thinks he's sick. How else could it have grown so big overnight? My uncle agrees to take Clifford to the vent. They sneak Clifford out of the house. They decide to load him into his van so no one will see him. But as soon as I put him in the car, a rolling ball caught his attention. Clifford starts playing and runs to the ball. But the man in the ball is miserable. He is lifted up by Clifford and then thrown into a tree. Clifford only cares about his own happiness. He doesn't care about men's feelings. The man doesn't escape until Clifford bites the ball. Clifford's huge size doesn't scare anyone. Its lively and lovely appearance also attracted everyone to take photos. Clifford's photo was quickly posted online and became a popular search. The three meter dog, tall dog came to the pet hospital and was weighed first, and the scale was crushed by it in an instant. Then the doctor was going to listen for a heartbeat, and there was nothing wrong with it, and it was perfectly healthy. My uncle thinks the problem may be the animal shelter. He takes Clifford there to find the answer, but just as they were about to leave, a man on the roof of the street fell down accidentally because he was repairing the antenna. When Clifford hears the cry for help, he jumps out of the car and saves the man. The thief won immediate praise from the crowd. Everyone comes up to pet him. Clifford is not scared by his appearance. Clifford is happy with everyone. Just then, an organization claiming to be a bio corporation arrives on the scene. The men ask Emily to return their lab doll, but the clever Emily soon sees through their plot. They just read about Clifford on the internet and want to study it. When a man tries to kill him, Emily tells him to run. Clifford runs away. The man calls for cars to surround him. A fan opens the back door of his store and lets Clifford run through, and those who followed were also knocked down to the ground by their uncle and several enthusiastic people. Finally, with the help of Emily's classmates, Clifford escapes and hides in his family's den. My classmates have a law bucket at home. The law bucket has a strange hobby, but it is swallowed by Clifford. The big red dog was so hungry that he swallowed the faggot in one mouthful. His stomach churned and he vomited out. It was a false alarm. Emily prepares a big plate of hamburgers for Clifford. Then the news of Clifford's arrest comes on the TV. It is the man who complains first. He reports that Clifford is missing from his company. Clifford is not safe here anymore. Just then the boy's father returned. After learning the truth, he decided to help them. He plans to send Clifford away on the company freighter. Emily hates Clifford and says goodbye with tears in her eyes. The next day, Clifford's boat is stopped by the police. The neighbors get the news and decide to help Emily save Clifford. They sneak to the outside of the company. While the men are holding a press conference, secretly cut the barbed wire into the company. Because most of the security is out there keeping order. Therefore, we easily solve a few people inside. Emily awakens Clifford on the operating table. But the problem is, how do you sneak Clifford out with all the guards outside? Emily has an idea. She sits on Clifford and runs. Clifford jumps out of the lab and runs to the park. The man doesn't want to give up. He chases them all the way. But Clifford avoids them all. Soon they came to the park and found the head of the animal shelter. Emily Emily asks the station master to make Clifford smaller, but the station master told him that it was her love that made the dog big. Meanwhile, the police arrive. They think Clifford is dangerous. They want to take him away. No matter how Emily explains, people gather around him. The people who have been helped by Clifford all speak for him. The sheriff was at a loss for a moment. When the man arrives, he forcibly takes Clifford away because he has a chip implanted in his body. The sheriff doesn't find any chips on Clifford. In fact, the chip has already been taken down by the mysterious webmaster and the bald brother will accept legal sanctions. At the end of the story, Clifford lives happily with the people. A colorful comic style animated open and bookend hangs a dark cloud over what could have been. I love both of these moments, heavily coated with a sheen of nostalgia. Why not make an animated Clifford movie for a new generation? Years back, Illumination Entertainment was rejiggering the property. Perhaps animation would be the perfect meeting place for the outlandish sleepers or segments. More than anything else, Clifford the Big Red dog made me want to go snuggle with my doggies. Beth and Mowgli, they may not be comprised of spotty CGI, but the canine love emanating from Clifford is enough to make me appreciate what I do have waiting for me back home.